Apparently, I'm sorry. Are you? Because you just keep doing this. Why well, I didn't want you to get involved. Because you knew that I would stop you. <sighs> Millie needed that transfusion. She consented. She can't. She's 14. How, how can I stop this? What? Me caring? You going rogue. Lying to your colleagues. Lying to me. You promised that this would never happen again, and I believed you. But the patient is thriving. And now your career's on the chopping block. Okay then, um, take it to management. I haven't decided what to do. No, I, I think you should. Let's go all the way to court. I will defend myself. All on my own if that's the way you want it. All right. What is it? What's all this negative energy? From us? Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on, out with it before you wilt all the houseplants. Just leave it, Mum, please. Right, I'm going to read Belia's story. And whatever you've done to my daughter, you better fix it. Tonight. So, do, do I need a lawyer up? Can we tell Chris? Not yet. Come here. It's too soon. Hey, work is work. This is our home, where we can be ourselves, a family, a wife. You can't just hug this away, Maeve. Well, I'm gonna give it a damn good try. You're a liar. You're unethical. You've got a massive God complex. I prefer goddess, thanks. Okay, what do you want from me? Well, a, a, a tiny bit of remorse. For what I did, no. For hurting you? Yes. A thousand times yeah, yes. I find that hard to believe. Nick, we are married. We need to figure out a way to work through this. I'm D-O-N, and you compromised me. You don't even seem to care. Of course, of course I care. Do you want me to give up my job? Don't be silly. You never would have got away with this if someone else was in charge. You would have been struck off. You would never work in this country again. So just tell me what you want me to do. I don't know what to do. I will go to Chris myself. First thing tomorrow. You, you can't. I made the decision. I did what I did. And I will deal with the fallout. Okay? Daily pics of my wee boy. Can you handle how cute he is? <laughs> we do this later. I take it she told you then. It's been big chats last night. You told him. No, he figured it out. I didn't volunteer anything. Can we save that fight for later? There's no fighting. Good. Because you mean the world to her. Nicole. Right. Don't doubt that. All right. So what's the plan? Uh, well, I have a meeting with Chris. I will tell him everything. That is a terrible plan. Too bad. That's what's happening. Shouldn't we be fighting to keep your job? What if I don't deserve to keep my job? Well, what the hell does that mean? If I have to lie in order to stay a nurse, maybe I shouldn't be a nurse. Nicole, just give her a verbal warning and then pack her off to ethics rehab. What? That's just a one-week course around informed consent and parental rights, blah, blah, blah. It, that will happen either way the appropriate action to match the crime. Nick still knows I was lying. He'll ring up. She'll get over it. Will she? She trusts you. No, I'm sorry. The only way is for me to come clean. Well, I, this meeting hasn't finished this yet. This meeting is over. Yeah, Chris will bring the lawyers in. He has to. I know. And if that father gets an even better hotshot lawyer, this will go to court. In which case, I may as well Google search visiting hours at the local prison. Now, I know your wife doesn't know what to say, but I do, okay? And I claim my right as BFF. Just Tom, I'm going to see Chris. Wait. Why? Because Nicole has something to say. Do you want me to come with you? What? No. Are you going to help escort her from the building when she gets fired as well? Hey, guys. AD needs staff now. What's happening? NVA. At least five cars are involved. The Ambo's are on their way now. We'll be there. All of us. Oh, 
Oh, it is mad out there. How are you doing in here? Uh, Ella has a fractured wrist, so we're going to sort that out for her, aren't we? Feels a bit silly when everyone else is hurt worse. Hey, no, none of that. You matter too. Can someone contact my boyfriend? He'll be worried. I'm sure we can manage that. Well, I will chase up Jack and clear those category fours. <gasps> Ella? She's short of breath. She looks hypoxic. We need a doctor in here. They're all with patients. What can you hear? Sounds like a pneumothorax. She needs a needle decompression. Well, can we stabilise her until a doctor gets here? She hasn't got that long neck. I'll do it. I've got this. What do you need? Chlorhexidine and a 14 gauge angio. Okay. It's in. Hey, have you guys seen Jack? Well, what's happening here? The lungs were inflated. You did it. Needle decompression. Yeah, I can see that. Was there not a doctor around? There was no time, and she's aced it. I've never been more nervous in my life. You did great. Well, a thoracostomy is not an easy procedure, so well done. Do you have time to take over? Yeah, sure. Nice work. Not finished yet. Hey, I'm gonna find your phone and call your boyfriend, okay? Let him know you're gonna be just fine. Oh, there he is, Dr. A. Wong. Sorry? Ah, uh, they're talking about me. And? Who are you, Jack? Cleaning out the category force, like you asked. Hmm. And hey, look, I'm trying to make up for it. Oh, nice thought, Jack. Oh, Carol, it's the lies. How did you know? Lucky guess. Maeve, queen of the thoracostomy? Hardly. I heard you did some mean needlework in there. Really? Yeah, it was very impressive. You should think about retraining as a doctor. Very funny. <laughs> I'm going to get back on deck. Yeah, nice work, Dean. Cheers. Uh, oh, Maeve, shall we reschedule that meeting? Hmm. Uh, uh... What, what did you want to talk about? Uh, the new intubation training dummies for the student nurses. Okay. I asked Maeve to follow up with you, but it's all, it's all sorted now. Nothing serious then. Excellent. What are you doing? Saving your career. Lying for me makes you as guilty as me. You could lose your job. Don't you dare talk to me about my job. Hey, babe. Not here. Well, 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 let's go and talk. About what? The rules and how they're there to keep us in check and accountable? Yeah. It's pretty simple, really. You're a highly skilled and compassionate nurse, but I don't like your ethics and I don't trust you. What does this mean for us? We can make it work. Just pretend this never happened. But you never lie to me again. <laughs>